Good morning, YouTube. This is Lisa. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. I'm doing great. I'm gonna take a look at my garden. I think I'm gonna walk out here and uh, look at my garlic. So I'll be right back. My garlic looks fine, but this uh, ants are over here and they're inside of this bed. So I gotta, I gotta put this something down and give me some diatomaceous earth. Put on those ants. Cause I'm not gonna go all winter with the ants in this bed. Okay, that's uh, some broccoli. Everything needs some fertilizer. So we'll just uh, give you things some 511 or 511 fish emulsion. That bed there, they look totally fine. Other than where pests have eaten some of the leaves. But I'll put some BT on them as well. This little bed, it looks fine. This lemon balm is toast. <laughs> it's oregano. I don't know, but I'll probably will harvest some of it. These are the Romanesco. of the broccoli. This cabbage, they're okay. They just need a little fish emulsion and they'll be fine. This cabbage here, it probably will be Okay, after a few days and some fish emotion. Lettuce, Swiss chard, carrots, and the radish, they got a little frozen, but I think we'll be all right. the turnip greens, they'll be fine. This little lettuce bed, it just needs some fish emulsion. And this cauliflower, I don't know, something. I keep looking for it and I can't find it. Whatever it is, but I'll put some BT on. That will take care of them. Once he start chomping on that, he gonna get sick. But, that's what I'm gonna do right now. Give everybody some, some food.
I started a video yesterday where I was um, giving you all a look at the plants after we had those freezing nights. We had three nights of like, a couple of nights got into, got to like 29, 28 and 29 degrees. And so, um, uh, I just was gonna give y'all a look at how everything went. It got so windy yesterday. It was blowing everything around, blew my tripod over. And so I didn't finish yesterday. So this is how everything is looking so far. Um, I'm gonna come over here to where this lettuce is. And um, I'm just gonna flip you over. Okay, the lettuce is uh, looking pretty good. They didn't look that bad yesterday, but they're standing up a little better um, today after getting a little 511. Some in there, I don't think was gonna ever do that much, like that one, and that one, maybe not. But they're, they're doing okay. This cauliflower, it uh, it's looking okay. And this cauliflower, I also put uh, some BT on the plants as well for whatever is eating my plants. So hopefully they'll take care of them too. This radish, I think it probably got a little frozen. I know they did, but it's still radish in there. I had a cousin that come over just a few minutes ago and uh, we gave her a bag full of radish. And so they're, fi they're fine. They just look pretty bad. But next to them are my turnip greens. And this one turnip right here is getting bigger, as you can see. But uh, it, it's, uh, they're, they're doing fine. Now, this was the crop. Broccoli. I think that one may come back. I kinda think that one may. That one's done for. This one may come back. I think that one may be done for. That one's done. That one may come back. It's a broccoli Romanesco. This one may come back. This one may come back, but I don't know. It's gonna be a while and they're gonna struggle. But I don't know. I'll just try again next year. This is my broccoli, I mean my um, cabbage. And I don't wanna take this tool off cause then I have to put it back and I don't want to. But the, it, the cabbage is fine. And that's two more. They're fine. These two broccoli, um, they, they're doing fine. I didn't cover those either, and uh, they did fine. I'm almost thinking that because I grew those in grow bags, I wonder if that's the reason why those didn't do well. And these two over here they are fine because they went in same time same day as those over there I don't know but this is a little brassica bed these are uh, red 
mush, uh, mustard greens. These are southern curled mustard greens. And these are collard greens. That's actually a mustard green as well. But this bed is fine. Okay, so this is my other brassica bed. I planted it out earlier than these other plants. And they are doing well. Look at these red mustards compared. See that leaf there? Look at my hand. So they, I believe, by next weekend, they'll be ready to be picked, some of them. And they look so good. I'm so proud of them. These are my collard greens. And I'm so proud of them. And back there are rutabagas. I'm so proud of them. And then these are the southern curled mustards. And um, they have such pretty curly edges. Those were some of my mother's favorites. But those are doing really well. This little planter, my onions almost look like they were suffering from the cold, but the fish emulsion really did well for them. They're standing back up again. So I think they'll be fine. This red romaine lettuce, they're fine. And then I have one more broccoli over here. And I think it's gonna be fine too. It's in with my rosemary and lemon balm over here. This lemon balm did okay. The one I got in that grow bag over there is toast. And so that's how everything is going so far. Um, it's not a lot to do in the garden anymore because um, all the summer stuff is out and gone. And, um, and we are just nursing these ones from the cold weather back to life again. We got some, I think, casualties over there, but I think some of them will survive. It may take them a little longer to... Uh, uh, mature, but I think they'll be fine. I thank you all for watching this video and um, I hope you all are doing well in your gardens and um, you all stay safe, stay well, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.